Well, a very good morning, everybody. Monday, the 8th of June. A little bit more cloudy out there than we had hoped for this time of the day. But what do we got? Well, those fronts that we've had uh, over the last uh, evening or so, they passed down to the south, but we've still got a reasonable amount of residual moisture higher up, which is going to influence how good the day is. The synoptic picture at the moment shows sort of just slack area of well, nothingness really, just low pressure to the north, but just dragging in a slight northeasterly uh, that's going to be around for most of the day. You can see on here, we don't get these too often on the charts, but a, the Met Office have forecast a convergence line over the sort of Exeter, sort of uh, Devon Peninsula. So that could be of interest for today, but interesting to see it's on there. And towards midnight tonight, again, fronts will start to approach a bit more cloud again. At the moment, with the uh, associated convergence potentially and the uh, fronts that have cleared, not particularly too much in the way of rain, but we do have a lot in the way of upper cloud. At the moment, the brightest area is probably being maybe about 100 kilometres west of us, and that's hopefully going to spread. You can see some gaps in the cloud just starting to open up, and it has been thinning since this morning. At the moment, we've sort of got strata to strata queue 1800 feet or so, so uh, pretty low at the moment, but improving. And the infrared, as we can see, is not, not as bad as it was yesterday in terms of upper cloud coming, but there will be still some upper cloud nonetheless. Winds, I understand a few of you were interested in going to the South Downs. I um, don't think it could be particularly strong uh, on the ridge today, but uh, you might be able to get some ridge enhanced thermals or maybe just better keep yourself up on it. Uh, generally looking in the region of around sort of north to northeasterly, uh, generally in the probably about 020 here at about 10 knots or so. And we can see on uh, Windy our uh, our wind tool, that's, that's generally going to be the case for most of the day. Not really getting much above 10 knots or so at sort of ridge heights, but uh, certainly in the right direction if it does pick up a little bit more. Public forecast uh, shows, yeah, northeast to north northeast, similar sort of range. Uh, some way in the region of more sort of thicker clouds during the day. I think uh, we could expect that the forecast did slightly deteriorate overnight. Temperatures today, well, on the public one, we had about 15 degrees or so, and that's broadly the same on the GFS for today. 15 to 16 degrees and dew points down to around nine or 10. At the moment, currently, uh, temperatures 11, dew points five, probably see that both of those rise for a bit. For those of you that are not on the airfield, Actually, that was early this morning, um, even earlier actually. Uh, at the moment, we've got uh, yeah, just general sort of stratus, stratus cumulus. Okay, looking at soaring forecasts, as I said, did deteriorate overnight. That's the potential flight distance. Very narrow corridor down here where it's going to be reasonable. Um, not really good too much north of uh, sort of the Buckingham area. Oxford. So yeah, probably a day to stay down near the south coast, especially with a northerly wind. Not going to get any sea breeze, hopefully. So looking at 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock we supposedly would have, uh, at 11 o'clock we would have cumulus to maybe three, three and a half thousand feet. By lunchtime, broadly similar, maybe 4,000 feet above sea level. Not getting hugely much better than that. And as we can see with this bit, maybe a little bit too much in the way of cloud and the sounding show that today as well. Uh, what's that? That's gonna be around, yeah, the day closing off around about five o'clock. Site forecast shows broadly similar, three and a half thousand feet above the ground sort of two to three knot climbs under cumulus, but with some mid-level clouds in there as well. High level cloud coming in later for tomorrow. And the cloud forecast. 
you can see under a reasonable amount of uh, stratocumulus potentially snow development in there for most of the day so yeah not blue skies by any means but should this time of year still be very soarable plenty of energy in the sun at the uh, midpoint of the year and top meteor have also shown the convergence line on here see it's a bit more zoomed in so it'd be interesting to see what people can make of that um the met office tell the public it just means it'll be a stationary band of rain but uh, i'm sure we can make better use of it than that Okay, predicted soundings. Hurstman said to uh, so one o'clock. So it's reasonable temperature splits uh, with four uh, four thousand feet, but a real reasonable amount of cloud, though not as much in some areas. If we look at uh, Lark Hill at the same time, a little bit more in the way of mid-level cloud, and uh, probably some over overdevelopment in there, but. Uh, Still, I mean, we can't really complain. We have had some really, really good conditions, but uh, pleased to see so many of you out today. Okay, uh, no TAMs. Uh, Southampton are active all afternoon from about lunchtime, so 12 o'clock all the way through to this evening. So if you are planning to go through there, they seem to be fairly friendly with gliders. Uh, so just give them a call. Even if you're non-transponder, they might be able to let you through. 120.230 um and they'll be able to get you through uh danger areas at boscombe down and eversley are active let's have a look at that Everly active all day up to twenty thousand feet and uh bullford's active as well um and boscombe down's active for this morning and uh boscombe zone will be open as usual if you're heading in that direction uh parachuting at chilton uh, at not Chilton Park, at uh, Little Risington, Little Risington. Uh, Fairford ATZ active uh, from 8.30 through to 6.30 today. And generally in the most parts, uh, that's it. Bournemouth uh, remain active as well. They've got more training flights and they also have the, the, uh, the PPE flights coming in from China. So they're just as active as Solent are at the moment. Uh, my apologies for not getting the fire truck out earlier. Uh, sort of big accident on the motorway got caught up with. Uh, sort of things don't change really, even despite lockdown that's happened. So people still managed to crash on the M3. But uh, we're going to be on 09 on the runway. I've spoken to Two XL this morning, so there should be no reason for us to need to clear it. So 09 from the intersection, the fire truck will be out there very, very shortly. And we should have at least four tugs to uh, use today. Uh, Farnborough active today as usual we will keep an eye to, uh, to see if there's any change obviously with the government's introduction of quarantine from today we will keep an eye and let you know of any deactivation of airspace that might happen as a result of less commercial or private flights but at the moment everything remains as it is everything is active so other than that have a great day and i'll see you on the grid bye for now